Now that intro took me all day. Man, that was ages. What's going on guys, it's Jason Morris here. Yes, that intro did take me all day to do, mainly because I haven't seen it done before. And I was just trying to create an idea out of my head because we're stuck at home, uh, thou shall not be named. Let's not talk about that. But anyway, I received the new motorized Micro 2 from Zpon. And like naturally, I just wanted to use it in a professional application and really put it through its paces. And honestly, I couldn't have completed this task without it. Now I'm gonna go through the bit of behind the scenes on how I got that intro and how this slider was actually vital to getting that shot. But first, let's talk about the slider. Now, Zipon is a company based in China, and they have previously designed the original Micro 2 slider, which is a manual one. Now, you may have noticed, but all my videos over the past, say, five or six months have actually been using the slider. So it really allows me to get nice, smooth tracking shots, and it just looks really professional. And I'm able to keep my shots at a nice sort of consistent pace because with like traditional sliders, you do get really grippy, jerky movements. Now this obviously helps with that. And now that they've released the motorized slider, this makes things so much easier, so much more simple and smooth. It allows you to press just a button on this thing and then it'll just track at three different speeds. So you've got slow, medium and fast. You can also set waypoints from A to B by double tapping the power button, and then you move the point to the second point, double tap the power button again, and boom, there you go, you're ready. Once you're ready to set it up, uh, just double tap the power button once more, and that gets it started. Now there is a little bit of a delay, but that is actually a really good thing because when you press the buttons, you tend to shake the camera. This will delay well, I think it's about half a second or a second. It'll be a little bit of a delay, but that is great because it'll allow for that shake. And then you obviously won't get that shake in your footage. But if you want to reset it, all you have to do is press the two arrow buttons, uh, holding it down, and then you'll hear reset noise. Boom. It's perfect. You can start all over again. But alternatively, you can actually use the app as well on your phone. And you can plot different waypoints on there instead. But yeah, it, it can be a little bit easier. It all depends on how you want to run things. Now, it can be run by USB-C cord with a powerful charging brick. Alternatively, I just use my Sony uh, MPF battery that is perfectly fine with powering that up. The great thing is, hold that power button, turns on straight away, select your speed, and you can see there, that's speed number two, that's number three. So it's not super, super fast, but it is fast enough for what you need to have nice smooth camera movement. Number one is really cinematically slow. Now the great thing is, is you can film yourself and do this because you can use, like I said, through your smartphone, or you can just set those waypoints on here, which is perfectly fine. It's really easy to do. Now it also comes with a cord, so if you can open this thing up right on the side here, connect it to your camera, and then you can do some nice motion lapses as well. But anyway, let's talk about that intro shot. Now, where did we apply this? We'll get to that in a second. But as you can see, this was actually a quite ambitious shot. Like, no, oh, also, I was not paid by Bacardi for that, so just set that straight. I just happened to have a Bacardi glass cup. But anyway, now you can see I needed the water to pour into the cup horizontally. Now you can see the water go horizontal across the ground. Now how the hell do you do that? How the hell did I come up with that idea anyway? Gravity. Of course, gravity is going to pull the water down, but how do you make it go across the ground? Well, the trick is super glue. A lot of super glue. Now I had to build the set completely 
vertical. So obviously gravity is going to force the water down into the cup. So the camera is actually tipped on its side and it's vertical. So everything you see right here is on a wooden board. It's glued down. So the nuts, the nutshells, the container, the shot glasses, the bottle cap, the toothpick case, the toothpicks, and the cup is just mounted on a piece of wood vertically. It's really actually a simple idea, but it was just super, super time consuming just to really sell that shot, to make it seem like it was actually nice and flat. So I've got the ice in there, then essentially it's gonna look something like that. ice there. I'm gonna try and hope to I guess let it freeze exactly like that. Put a little bit of water on top so it's gonna try and fuse the ice cubes together. This is pretty much where the camera slider came in handy because I needed the slider or the camera to go vertically against the way the water was actually going. So I mean you could do this handheld but I don't even think you can physically do it handheld. You wouldn't be able to get it steady enough. You would have to, you could probably do the manual z slider and manually push it. That just means you might actually need an extra person because I had two cups of water. Um, one was different color, one was clear, one was like a Coke sort of color. I needed the two hands, I needed to hold the funnel. It was just almost impossible to do by myself if I did not have the slider. Now that was probably one of the toughest things that I needed to do and it handled the vertical very well. I was very surprised. It didn't slow down at all. It was perfectly fine. And all I did was just, I manually moved it. I set the points and away I went. Goes up. Look at that. That's awesome. So lighting set up. Got the SL60 which is your Godox, um, fantastic light. Now there is no softbox, I needed the harsh light because I am shooting at F9. I want this image to be really, really sharp. And then obviously you won't be able to see, here we go, turn that aperture down. So that is the bowling light, and I've got a couple of Iwata GL lights there that I was using last night. I just need to get a close up shot this morning that stream to add in but anyway that's pretty much it nothing else to say uh, short little quick video on the zpon slider the link will be in the description below if you do want to check it out uh, like this video if you could that would be absolutely amazing i know us content creators are finding it a bit difficult because we're not able to go outside as much as we'd like to but yeah let's not talk about that let's keep everything positive all i want you to do is stay home stay safe be nice and hygienic and just create some videos indoors if you have to. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Let's get it.